hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl audrey so guys if you're watching if you happen to just click on this channel and you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead and click that subscription button turn it to gray if it is red that means you haven't subscribed please subscribe feel free to comment and share my videos guys welcome welcome to all my new subscribers and to all my returning subscribers to watching my channel welcome to you all today guys wasn't a nice day i faced with one challenge after the other but i'm just going to talk about one i went to my appointment today for my eyes i went there November I think was the last time I went and my doctor told me that um, they're gonna do they're gonna dilate my eyes today so I shouldn't drive when I'm coming I must not drive that's part of it but first yesterday I realized I missed a call from a number I didn't recognize the number so I returned the call only to find out that it was the the office calling me the doctor office and the person answered the phone and they said hold that's all i heard hold and would you believe me i was on that phone for over half an hour holding just for them to get back to me to confirm my appointment anyhow no one get back to me i hung up the phone when i got there this morning went up to the counter introduce myself tell them and I ask them a name and date of birth I gave it to them the young man look at me I specifically told you talked to you yesterday and I told you that your appointment was 11 o'clock I said no no one talked to me yesterday I missed a call and when I called back the person only said hold and no one came back to me and uh, my doctor said that I should come in one hour before the appointment because what they're going to do, they need me to come in earlier. Anyhow, I'm going to send you up to the second floor with attitude, you know. Anyhow, I went up to the second floor. Went to the receptionist up there. Took my information, everything. Went and have a seat. After that, a young lady came to me, called me, took me into a room which I'm used to this procedure because that's what I, if um, the doctor requests something, this is what we're going to do. Went in, she did the test. After the test finished, she's handed me the paper. Take this to the front desk and they will make an appointment for you to see the doctor. Remember guys, today is my work day. And because of the importance of what the doctor was going to do, I could not reschedule because when I called to reschedule, they said they have no more appointment until March. And the doctor wanted was to see the progress of the eyes and what was going on. So I said, you know what, let me take the day from work just to get this done. Only to go, guys, to see that what they did was to give me a test. No one said anything. So when I went back, when I said no. I said to her, I said, no, the doctor specifically told me that she wanted to dilate me today. And that's the reason why I am here. She did not tell me about this test, but she said she wanted to dilate me, which the test that I did, if I'm going to see her, and she's going to dilate. Normally, she will do that so she can, you know, see what's happening. The young lady is going to tell me, oh, the doctor is ill and she she's not going to be able to come in. She's pregnant and she's um, high risk and she's not going to be able to come in. So she, they split up her patient with other doctors. Why they didn't tell me that? From, why didn't tell me that from before? Why you guys have me come in to do the test? And then you're going to tell me that nobody said anything to me. I said, no, this is not right. So why did I pay a copay? Guys, if anyone know about this, please comment down below. Do you have to pay a copay 
even though you're not seeing the doctor, you're just going to do a test. Do you have to pay a copay? I don't know. I'm asking these questions. They told me yes, so I don't know. I pay a copay. I know they're going to tell me, oh, we're going to hook you up with another doctor. Why you didn't call me and tell me that my doctor was out? She's the doctor I've been seeing over the years. And ask me if I'm comfortable seeing another doctor there or something. You're just going to just, oh, you got to take this to the front. You have to make another appointment to see a, a, a doctor. Who does that? Guys, I'm so upset. I'm so upset with that today. We have to go through too much. You know, all I care about is just taking your money, swiping, 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 taking your money. And the receptionist, they, they, they don't have no manners. They just treat you as if you're coming in here to beg something. Guys, honestly, I was so upset today when I came home. I just relax, take a breather. I had... <laughs> I had also have a, a, a drink of um, rum cream, just a little bit, just to feel, just to second my nerves. These people just, let me tell you something guys, that is just one part of my day. I wouldn't even start mentioning the other part as yet. I would leave that for another video for when I'm completing to move out a year and move back into the new apartment. Cause it is crazy. It is crazy, guy. It's crazy.